Hi, I'm Navid Ansari and in this video I'm going to show you how you can import a sprite from Photoshop to Spine. So without any further ado, let's begin. So we have this sprite in here. First thing that you should remember when you are drawing this, you should put every single part of the body and all the sprite that you want to animate in separate layer in Photoshop like I did in here. Of course, this sprite is from Spine software and I just borrow it. So you can see in here we have all of these layers. One of them is for left arm, one of them is for left hand, one of them is for left feet and everything is separated in separate layer. Before we move on, I should say something about Dragon Bones. In last video I did say um, uh, Dragon Bones support Game Maker, but it doesn't. Uh, it's not like Dragon Bones don't support Game Maker. Game Maker doesn't support Dragon Bones animation. There is some way to do that, but um, you need a spine for that as well because Dragon Bones can export as a spine animation um, and Game Maker support a spine animation. There is two ways to import this sprite to your Spine project. So you see I did open the Spine Pro in here. First way to add your sprite to a Spine is to go to the image and in here set the path in here and give it the path. Mine is in this image in here so select it and Spine will add all the images that is in that path to the image in here. So you can see I give it the path of my image and it will import it to the spine in image section here so we can add one by one in here first of all head neck so let's just add and you can see that uh, this neck is above of our head so it should be behind our head so what we should do we should just collapse this image go to draw order and put the neck below the head so like this and no our neck is below our head and and we can do that one by one for all of these and add everything and after that we can animate our sprite right but there is a better way in photoshop let's, let me just get rid of all of these and create a new project don't save and if you go to photoshop and you draw that in photoshop right if you draw that in photoshop um, you make a layer for every each one of the body parts so you have all of this in here one thing that you should do you should use the script that um, spine provide for us so let's just go to right click on our spine right click on spine property open file location and when you find this location go to scripts and after that you can see what it support it support after effects it support gimp it support illustrator ink escape and photoshop in this case i want to use photoshop so what you need you need to copy this photoshop to spine.jsx that is a script for photoshop so after you find that just right click on your photoshop right click on other photoshop head property in here open file location and in here in your photoshop folder just go to presets and in here find the scripts in here and just paste that photoshop to spine jsx and with that if you close your photoshop and open it again you can have this in file in a script and photoshop to spine will be here and when you click on it it says just save this file first so first thing to do in here you should just save this file as a psd file so i, I should create a folder in here let's call it yt for youtube tutorial and in this folder i want to save this uh, photoshop file and now we can go to file go to script and go to photoshop to spine and in here it will open up this photoshop to spine uh, the version 4.4.1 and after this let me explain some option in here first of all if it should uh, in ignore hidden layers what is hidden layers let me show you uh, you see my sprite have a shield and i don't want it at the initialized version i don't want it to have that shield so i um, make it hidden it has dagger it has a spear and i don't want to have all of these at the beginning so all of these should be hidden and I want to just have this in my spine again go to file go to script photoshop to spine so you know you, you shouldn't check this because you need those uh, hidden layers so just uncheck this 
Next thing, right spine JSON. You should check this because um, if you wanna have this sprite exactly like it is in spine software, you should write spine JSON so it knows the location of head, location of hand, and everything. Next thing, ignore background layer. I don't have background layer, but you, if you check it, it will get rid of background layer. For next thing, write template image. What it what it's for is just for previewing, for showing your whole sprite with all the all the location of head, hand, and everything is correct. So you can have this for just reference. You don't need that in a spine or game maker. So you can uncheck this, but I will check this so you can see the whole sprite in one image. In here, trim white space, it will trim all the white space, so it's self-explanatory. And the scale, I want to uh, leave it as 100, but if you design your sprite um, larger than what you need, you should just change this scale in here. So in your game, you don't need to change anything after this. So padding is for how much white space it should leave it leave it on. So I always use one in here, and after that, it uh, it say where do you wanna save it? It will save it on um, the folder that you save your project, your Photoshop project, and after that path, it create a new folder call it images and put all the images in there and put the JSONs at the root of that folder. So in here, hit OK, and it will export your sprite. So after you did the export, if you go to that YT folder, you can see the PSD file is in here, the JSON file that it created is here, and the images all are here. So what you can do, you can just drag and drop this JSON file to your spine new project. Hit import, let me maximize this. And you can see our um, sprite uh, is in here and it's not at zero and zero. How we can fix that? Let me again create a new project, discard all the changes, and again go to go back to Photoshop and create some guide in here and some guide in here. So I want a zero and zero to be right at this spot at the bottom of our sprite. So after that, you should select here and set the origin to that position so the zero and zero you can see in photoshop is in here so after you've done that you can again go to a script and photoshop to a spine leave all the option as it is hit ok and it will create all the uh, images with the right origin and after it created for you again go to yt folder and grab this json file Put it on spine pro at importing here and it will be at the zero and zero of our spine now we have our sprite in a spine okay with right click you can grab this like this with middle mouse you can zoom and unzoom and with left click you can select uh, or any image you want you saw that from um, photoshop that we have a spear we have dagger we have a shield and those were, were hidden so for make them unhidden just find it in the root this is our skeleton this is our root bone and all of these uh, slots are in in child of our root bone so if you go to a spear in here and you can see the spear in here is hidden and if, if you click in here it will be unhidden you can see it here that it will put it in here and you can do this in game maker with just one line of code and this spear will be unhidden with that line of code i try to explain to you how you can create an sprite in photoshop so you can add it to your import it to your spine project very easily after this video i will show you what all of these are and what is the constraint what is draw order what is the skins what is events the events is those type of events that you have in game maker as well that um let's say when you have animation that it's running and whenever they put whenever the sprite put its um, foot on the ground there will be an event and in that event you can play a sound of a foot okay so there is a lot of cool options in a spine that you, i will show you how you can use them you will learn how you can import uh, your sprite to a spine in the next video i will show you a lot of 
a lot of cool things that you can do with a spine so if you want to know more about it please hit that subscribe button and if you want to help me hit that like button and bell button thank you very much for watching bye